So Vaporeon, I must know your secret. How did you get so big? I mean, I'm like short, but yeah. How did you, what is your secret? Oh, we're recording. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Bubbles here, and welcome back to another video where today we are not traveling or doing family activity, but don't worry, don't worry, there will be one next week, so if you're here for the traveling stuff, that's next week. I promise I did not forget. So, yeah, in this video, we are actually going to show you guys the difference between real Pokemon cards and these fake Pokemon cards. And we don't like fake Pokemon cards. Right, Vaporia? Yeah. So, if you have watched my second Pokemon video, and if you haven't, go watch that before you watch this one. Or if you just want to know the difference between fake and real cards, just stay here. And yeah, the link will be in my description too, and in the comments, so if you're interested, it's right there. So yeah, in my second Pokemon video. These Pokemon cards, I got these in Tennessee and I had no idea they were fake until opening it in that video. So yeah, here's a clip. So, I opened these both to get ready and I have a suspicious feeling about this because it's upside down on both sides. So. So we got back from GameStop just because we just wanted to make sure. And these are fake. These are fake. So yeah, that happened. So now I'm going to be telling you the difference between fake and real. These are real and these are fake. And I'll show you what I mean. So, one of the ways you can tell which Pokemon card is fake and which one's real is the packaging. So most of the time when you get like a single pack, it's always going to be packed like this. And fake cards are usually not, so they're like this. Except for Dollar Tree, those are 100% real. There are also certain stores you should not get your Pokemon cards from. So if you go to a store and it's too good to be true, it's most likely fake. And the best stores to get it from is GameStop, Target, Best Buy, or Dollar Tree. Those are your best bets to get real Pokemon cards. Or even the Pokemon store itself. And another way you could tell is the price. If a single pack is anything above $4.99, it's probably going to be a ripoff. So yeah. And if it's like $3.99, then it's real. Because Best Buy does sell it for a dollar less. And those are legit. And yeah, let's get opening. So I will open both of these. Just so you can see the difference. So here's the real one, and here's the fake one. Do you see a difference? Well, the fake one is lighter than the real one. As you can see, the lettering from the Pokemon logo, this one's lighter and this one's darker. And you can also tell by picture quality too. One's better than the other. So if you do accidentally get the pack, you can also tell once you open it. Because when I opened this in my other video, it was like glued shut. So it was difficult to open. Well, these cards are easier to open and it's not glued shut. Except somehow for me, it is hard to open these things. Oh, never mind. This time I actually did not struggle to open the pack. And another way you can tell every real Pokemon card 
has a code. And there's the code if anyone plays the game. So yeah. And then if you put four cards, three to four cards, it depends on the pack. So yeah, it should always go like this. So let's see what we got. Electric Energy, Spongy Gloves, Frost Moth, Simisir, Staryu, Toxel, Pan Panpour, Suwaddle, Skarmory, Misharna, and here's another way. Every card has one rare and one hollow. Well, not every card has a rare, but there's only one rare per card. And, oh wow, we already got a, well, I was not expecting that. <laughs> well, that's a coincidence. Well, thanks to this one, I can actually show you the difference. So let me show you what I got from this pack. And this one's from the fake one. So we got more than one rare. And yeah, you can also tell. So I'll show you. So the Breloom is the first rare we got. And you can kind of see like, it's like pretty looking and it's shiny. Where these are just papery and not shiny. So yeah, that's another way to tell. And like I said before, fake cards have more than one rare. Real cards only have one. As you can see, this one has like five rare cards. So this one's fake. So yeah, let's open this one and see what we can get and what I can show you. There's the code. Steel Energy, Paparaja, Cook, Macargo, Phalanx, Chudo, Volibee, Dupider, Meowth, Battle VIP Pass, and wow! Another rare. Well, that's the first time I got lucky. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah, now I'll show you what I got in the other fake one, which is another fake rare. And yeah, a bunch of fake cards. Yeah, another way to tell is the back side. Because the fake one on um, the edges is like a bit purpley. And the real one is more blue. And the fake one's also darker. And yeah, that's the difference. And one other way you can tell is by ripping it and also because of the design as you can see it's darker on i don't know it's just not as realistic looking so yeah when you rip the card and i know you guys hate this but i gotta do this for this video but i'm not ripping the rare ones so here's the fake one when you rip it. As you can see. So that's the fake one. And here is the real one. As you can see. You can see the ink. 
where a fake one there is no ink so yeah that's the difference between a fake card and a real card but any yeah No, you're joking. Oh. <laughs> well, it's good to have you back, Vaporeon, but we're already ending the video. But yeah. So anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell and subscribe so you can see every single one of my videos. I post every single week. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye!